Discussions from the past learning. Scion children. Scion teacher. I hope you all had a great summer break. I am very excited to see you all back in class. Yay! I'm sure you will enjoy all the lessons while having a lot of fun. Sounds good? Yay! Yay! This year, our lessons will be based on Swami's book, Ramakatha Dasavahi. Yay! Yay! This book in the Ramayana explains in our own dear beloved size words. Now, how many of you are familiar with the Ramayana? Isha, what do you know about the Ramayana? It is the story of Lord Rama and Mother Sita. Yes? Anyone else? It's about Hanuman. He is my favorite in the Ramayana. Why is he your favorite? Because he's like a superhero. He is so strong, he can lift a mountain on his own. He can fly, he destroyed Lanka on his own. That's awesome. Do you know any other characters? Ravana, he's the bad guy in the story. He's the one who has 10 heads. Can you believe? <laughs> Ravana is definitely a complex bad guy for sure. Have you ever heard of Lakshmana, Rama's brother, or even the mighty Ego Jotayu? There are so many amazing characters. Now let's talk about what Swami teaches us about these characters in the book Ram Kata Rasvahini. Yes, Veda? Do you have a question? What is the meaning of Ramayana? Great question. Our Bhagavan explains it beautifully in this book, which is about the inner meaning of Ramayana. Swami says Rama is the soul in everybody, the Atma Rama. The Ramayana teaches us at least two valuable lessons. One, the need for us to become aware of the divine in every being. And second, the value of detachment. Yes, Veda, do you have something to add? I've seen a photo of Hanuman where Rama was inside his chest. That must be what Swami talked about in his book. Very good job, Veda. Ishan, you look puzzled. Anything you want to say? I have seen a humongous statue of Hanuman carrying a huge rock in Prashant. That's not a rock, that's a mountain. I love all the cool observations you guys are having. Nice job. Now, let's talk about the two main lessons I mentioned. Does anyone else have examples or ideas of becoming aware of the divine in every being? Once we go to Nara and Seva and serve food to the homeless, my mom tells me to see God in every one of them. That's a great point, Sasha. You can apply both teachings of the Ramayana in Nara and Seva. Does everybody know what I'm talking about? Yes, Ishan? It's called Nara and Seva, which means service to God, because Swami taught us to see the divine in everyone, even poor, homeless people. Very good, Ashan. Do you have something to add, everyone? What is detachment? Good question. Swami talks about detachment in this book. It means to limit your wishes and wants. When we are making food bags for Narayana Seva, I have to detach myself from eating the yummy bag of chips. I know, there are so many yummy things, right? I have such a hard time resisting all that food. <laughs> yes, but you all work hard to limit your wants and make those food bags without keeping stuff for yourself. That's a great way to practice detachment. Sure, as we learned last year in SSC, Ryan Seva has two things in the book you are talking about. First, see God in the homeless, and second, don't take the good for yourself. You summed it up so beautifully. To practice the teaching of Ramakasa Rasavahini. Very well done. 
All right, everyone. We will learn life lessons like this as we go through this year experiencing Rama Kasadasavahi. It is the Ramayana told from Rama himself, which means by reading it, you it, all kind of little details you wouldn't get by just reading the Ramayana itself. I still don't understand why Hanuman is carrying a mountain. <laughs> don't worry, we will learn about that too. I wonder what the superhero name for Hanuman would be. He's Balabhim, true devotee of Lord Rama. <laughs> Let's read on and find out what happens.